Hi, so this is my um, the prototype for my uh, Matrix 1000 editor and uh, this is the module to, to control the DC01 parameters and this here is the microcontroller from NXP it's the LPC 2103 it's a development board by uh, by Olimax in Bulgaria. Very cheap and very good. And um, here of course is the JTAG interface for the programming and uh, I'm supposed to have five uh, uh, parts here to to be able to uh, set the parameters but I'm so lazy I've only made one and they're a bit messy to connect so I'm only using one at the moment. Also I have eight uh, buttons here with uh, LEDs but they're not connected because I uh, couldn't be bothered with, with uh, making the wiring for the LEDs too so the LEDs are just plugged into the to the connector here directly instead and I don't remember exactly which buttons do what so it's a bit of ex uh, an experiment when I press them to see what happens. Uh, from the microcontroller there is a connection to the MIDI board, uh, MIDI interface board rather, which is not much, just uh, an inverter to convert the 3.3 volt level to uh, 5 volt level. And then my MIDI connector which connects to my matrix thousand which you can see here well you can't really see it but you see the numbers at least so I think this recent flashing should be done first whoops Well, you hear this sound at least. And it's one of the few sounds I could find that actually only used one oscillator. Here you see MIDI's being sent. And you also see on the Matrix 1000 here flashing when it's receiving. So now I'm able to. Um, enable and disable the wave and pulse oscillator of DC01. Well, these lights are just set as they were before so I have to do like this to get an update. Now everything's turned off. So this is the wave output of DC01 active and I'm not sure what this last button does but I'm guessing it has something to do with the keyboard tracking because it changes pitch here and I should know because I programmed it but I don't remember which button is what so and I'm too lazy to look it up now so anyway and this is the pulse wave so um, this potentiometer here will change this value, which is the pulse width. I uh, see, turn them both off. And this is the wave. It shouldn't be affected by this one. Well, except I'm lagging in the MIDI notes, but. So I have a sequencer here programmed as well, uh, running, playing the sequence. So uh, the uh, SysX data is merged with the uh, note data. 
and um, it's causing some lagging even though I designed it so the MIDI notes should have priority but I guess I didn't do it well enough. But at least it seems to be working. I can uh, use the buttons to enable or disable different bits in the settings and I can also use the pots to uh, to change the parameters here and I've tried it with different different inputs I can't change it now because I need to change the the program or the the microcontroller will actually hang in the AD converter step because uh, it's getting no input from the from the AD controller uh, sorry the AD converter and uh, it just waits to get charged uh, and if there is nothing connected to it it will never uh, leave that wait loop. It, it's a it's a busy wait waiting for the AD converter to finish and uh, if there's nothing connected it will never finish so I can only have the one uh, active uh, the one that I plugged in here so that's why I'm only using uh, one at a time but um, seems to be a good start and if I can uh, try to uh, get some more potentiometers connected at the same time it will probably be uh, something interesting to continue with oh. oh this is synchronization by the way That sounds like portamento. Okay, that's it for this time.